So you just got your DaVinci Pro by XYZ Printing, and you press file print for your first part, and it says front door open, close front door. So obviously, uh, simple solution, you just try to open it and close it, and nothing happens. Um, further investigation, opening the door up, um, you kind of look at the door, and for example, mine, oh, there's a little piece of plastic broken down here. Um, looking down here, there is a trigger switch you might be able to see right there. It's just a standard um, micro trigger switch, and it looks like a piece is missing. <sighs> so the uh, DaVinci XYZ um, by XYZ Printing, the original one, didn't have um, this trigger switch on it. Uh, so let's get rid of, or let's, uh, first, if you're under warranty, obviously call up uh, XYZ Printing. Um, I'm going to show you a workaround to, so you actually can use your 3D printer once you get out of the box. Um, if you do this, you could void your warranty. Um, do it at your own risk, but it's super simple and super easy. So first off, get a spatula or the one that's provided by XYZ Printing and shove it into a little crack right here. And you can pop this little piece of plastic out. See if we can get it out. Should be pretty easy. So you just go in and pull it out and then you pull that piece of plastic out and just pull it right out. And under further investigation, there is a plug here. So you see that plug right there. Um, and there's here's the switch. And the switch obviously is broken. There should be something inside that crack. There we go. There should be something. Oh, come on, stay. There should be something right inside of there, but there's not. Um, so this, uh, their configuration is when you close it, it means the door is closed. So all you got to do is get to the plug, unplug it. So now this is unplugged. Get um, you. You could build your own harness. This looks like some kind of standard, maybe uh, lightning plug or whatnot. If you have this plug, you know, obviously use it. I would suggest not to cut this harness to make this work, because um, then you can't put a replacement part in. But all I did was I got a little piece of aluminum foil, and I oh, just shoved it in, and this should bypass the door. Um, obviously, if there's a laser connected, I would highly suggest not to do this um, for safety. But, let's see. Yep, and let's come back up to the top. And you can see the machine is working now. So, that's a quick, easy easy uh, bypass. You can see the aluminum foil in it. If you want, you can put a little tape around it. Um, what I've done for right now is I just pushed it down to the crack here. Make sure that's plugged in. I'll come back with this, and there is a kind of a little notch over here. So put this side in first, and then you kind of got to work this down up in there. You'll see over in this corner when that's inside, kind of hits that edge. So you kind of got to deflect it a little bit and push that down. And I think there we go. We are all the way in, and now you can close the door. And the door is disabled and the machine works. So, um, again, this is a quick, easy fix. You can do this if you don't want uh, the door to sound an alarm. Um, I've, I've noticed that the machine actually will stop printing when you open the front door up. Um, so, I really don't like that. Um, I like to be able to open the door up because this this glass is or this plastic is kind of a little dark. So, I always like to watch the first, you know, bed layer adhesion. Um, I typically do that with a door open, um, and this will allow you to do it. So, guys, please like and subscribe and uh, add questions at the bottom. Um, even, if it doesn't even if it doesn't relate to this problem, if you're having problems with your DaVinci or your Pro, please leave in the bottom and uh, post a video, and I might be able to help you guys out. Hope this helps.